I'd like to discuss karma yoga just a little bit more um, and give you sort of a breakdown of the words and explain to you that when we apply karma yoga, when we apply yoga to our karma, when we apply restraint to our actions, this is like preventative debt. We're preventing ourselves from accumulating more debt from our actions. And the lifestyle that we need to live is called dharma. This is right living, right decision making. Okay, so let's start with the fact that karma yoga does not mean selfless service. I was taught this at the Shivananda ashram that karma yoga means selfless service and I went through years of my life believing that that was true and not really examining the words and the, and the true meaning that those words um, entail. Until I met a yogi teacher who is really a linguist that's the only time, you know, that was the first time that I was able to really understand that I had been misled about what karma yoga is. So the new age culture will tell you that it's selfless service and that by doing this selfless service, somehow you're paying off your old debt, your old karmic debt, like the debt that you have accumulated from wrong actions, taking the wrong action in your life, not properly making the right decisions and living your dharma. So number one, karma itself means to the Sanskrit word, it means action, karma, your activities, your behaviors. Yoga means restraint, or we could say yoke. That's the closest English word to yoga is yoke. A yoke is a harness. It is a control device. It is a restraint. So anytime we are practicing yoga, we are practicing a restraint. We are controlled. We are under a self-imposed yogic discipline, okay? So yoga means restraint. It can be applied to many things. We know that we, we've heard the words karma yoga. We've heard the words bhakti yoga. We've heard the words hatha yoga. So it can be applied to many things. It's a real word used in real ways in the scriptural texts, okay? So it, it with karma, combined with the word karma, karma yoga then means behavioral restraint or action restraint. You are in a disciplined frame of life, of, of mind, and you seek to understand the right action to take. And when we read the Bhagavad Gita, which is really the source text, the primary lesson for humanity on karma yoga, we understand just how hard this is because even a person, the status of the prince warrior Arjuna, personal friends and cousins with God himself had a very difficult time fulfilling his practice of karma yoga. The Bhagavad Gita is a treatise on karma yoga. It is our go-to to understand how we apply this yogic discipline to our actions, especially when we don't like what we're going to have to do, just like Arjuna did not like what he was going to have to do entering into this terrible battle with his family members. So again, karma yoga means action restraint. It doesn't mean selfless service. It's not a method of clean, of by doing good deeds, you're going to eliminate your old deeds. Your old deeds are there. Your karma yoga can help you resolve why in your psyche you may have made those decisions or just your overall lack of attentiveness to your life and your debt, your nat nature debt. We live in a system here that records everything that we do and through life experience, we can see that sometimes when we do something, the result comes back on us very quickly. If we think a bad thought, something negative might happen to us. If we do something negative, something negative may happen to us quickly. Even if it doesn't happen quickly, it's been recorded. And somehow there will be a result. Every action has a reaction, right? This is the law of karma too. So... Those actions that we've already taken have been recorded. 
as we become more conscious in our behavior, we can resolve those deficiencies within us that caused us to commit those acts in the first place, okay? We're gonna get the result of those actions. It doesn't matter how much selfless service you do. What you want your karma yoga, your action restraint to do for you is to be a preventative measure. You are taking measures by examining your behavior, being methodical in your reactions and your actions, and you're preventing yourself by living rightly, living your dharma, and see my video, what is dharma, because I go into dharma greatly. We're preventing ourselves from accumulating unnecessary karmic debt, behavioral debt, that we will have to, that nature will have to get to us to resolve, to receive our, our due result from those actions. We're trying to prevent that. And you do that by living dharma, by living your righteous lifestyle. And to live your dharma, you really, really have to do the exercises, the breathing, the introspection, the time in meditation, and just put, put effort into your practice. So anyway, this is karma yoga, not selfless service. This is how they get you to clean the toilets at the ashram. I've, I know I was there in the year 2000. I did my first teacher training at the Shivananda Ashram up in Quebec, up in uh, Canada, in Quebec, up in a village called Val Morin. There's a beautiful Shivananda Ashram there. And they have us all doing jobs around the ashram, which is totally fine. We'd be willing to do it, but they have us doing it in the name of karma yoga, selfless service. But it doesn't mean selfless service at all. There's nothing wrong with selfless service, but it isn't karma yoga. And never once did they break down these words simply like this <laughs> in all of the time that I was there and just explain what the Sanskrit meant and what these words really, really mean and how to figure out how to live your life. That's the whole point of yoga figuring out how to live your life, putting restraints on yourself, being very conscious of the behaviors that you're doing so that you can, it's a liberation process. Yoga is a liberation process. The end goal is to get out of this realm of existence. It's to not reincarnate here. It's to clean things up, tie up loose ends, make your peace with, the, with nature, who you are in debt to, and prevent yourself from accumulating more debt so that you are eligible to be released from the system. So thanks for listening. And if you have any questions or anything you'd like to share, please do so. I'd love to hear from you. Bye.